Hello again, Craig here from thepreppersstop.com, here to talk about this time the Aqua Pail. Now the Aqua Pail is a rather unique system. Unlike a ceramic filter we talked about in previous videos, the ceramic filter you cannot filter out a virus. In fact, none of the filters can filter out a virus. You have to remember that. So you can only uh, kill a virus is basically what you have to do. Uh, or use a reverse osmosis system, which technically isn't a filter, or water distillation, which also technically again is not a filter. So you have to be very careful about viruses. But the Aquapail has a little unique system here. The Aquapail is a system upon itself. Basically, it has holes in the lid, you can see here, and then it's got a hole in the bottom where the water comes through. The whole thing is a filter. It doesn't, doesn't uh, have any cartridges or doesn't store any water, okay? Because the whole thing is a filter. There's media inside. I'm going to show you what's inside. I'm going to open up this bucket and show you the top of this. Here's a kind of a sponge thing. This will stop your, your bird droppings and bugs and eggs and things like that because you can put ditch water in this thing, unlike the ceramic filters. A little screen here, and the main ingredient here is actually a modified zeolite. This is actually a mineral mined in Nevada, and this is what does most of the work. Now, there's a lot of layers in there. I'm going to show you what's inside here, and without having to dig, let me show you what's inside. These are rather heavy, the bigger ones especially. But this is a cross-section of what's inside that bucket. Inside there, um, there's seven layers. Top layer will take care of your parasites, bacteria, and viruses, heavy metals, radiation, hydrocarbons, actually the hydrocarbons get stopped at the top, and that'll ruin a lot of other systems. Then this is your chemicals, such as your chlorides, your fluorines, and this does it very quickly, actually. A gallon of water go through here in about five minutes, because it only filters down to five microns. You see, the aqua pail, instead of trying to forcefully filter everything out, it decides to take a different approach and kill the bacteria and virus. You see what it does, basically, it's a modified zeolite, this top layer here. Um, if you look under a microscope under these uh, the particles, basically there's a lot of fine uh, chamber, a lot of fine passages and sharp edges with holes through and around the, pro uh, the zeolite. And basically it mutilates the virus as it goes through, kills it, or actually uh, uh, rips up the membranes of the bacteria. So they will get through, but they'll be dead. It's, it's of no importance to the body when you're drinking dead bacteria or a dead virus. It's, it's, it's safe. So this won't take down as far as... as as fine as some of the ceramic filters are, but it will make the water safe. In an emergency, this is generally what I recommend because you can use surface water with these. You can even use ditch, ditch water. You can even use uh, water from a lake, pond, stream, river, and even stagnant swamps and make it safe to drink because you're killing all the things in it and even seawater. Now seawater, it won't actually filter out the salt, but it will make it safe to drink because all the parasites, bacteria, and viruses will, be, it will be either be dead so you can safely drink seawater to a point. You can't drink a lot of seawater, though. So that's what makes the aqua pail different. Now, how long do they last? I get asked all the time. Well, indefinite shelf life. You can have this on the shelf 100 years and it's ready to go, basically. So for emergencies, this is great. In fact, this one bucket here, this one little pail, this will be enough for one person for a whole year. One person for a whole year of drinking water. Now, it weighs less than a gallon of water. It's a, it's a little heavy, but it weighs less than a gallon of water. How much water are you going to take with you on camping? How many gallons? So if you think it's too heavy, well, try carrying five gallons of water with you or whatever. This one you can take anywhere you go camping, basically. You will have, you'll have a stream, a lake, or some water source nearby that you can actually just put the water right in here, and within five minutes you got a whole gallon going through there. Uh, now, now, let's say you need to use this for a, a storm situation where the power is out for five days or a couple weeks or whatever. What about then? Well, you can safely get ditch water from a ditch, bore it in here, Put your, uh, another vessel underneath here. The small one, I would recommend something like a mason jar. Just set it right on there. Pour your water in, uh, and you've got drinking water from a ditch. That no, and nobody else, everybody else is looking for FEMA for their water bottles, right? Well, this one you can use for, with a ditch. Um, let's say you have to use it for five days or a week or something. After that emergency is over with, you let it drain. It'll dry out just like it was before, and you're good to go. Again, 100 years later. In other words, minus the number of gallons, because these are rated per gallons. This, number, this model 400 is rated for 400 gallons of the worst quality water you can find. And so after, let's say you used it for 100 gallons, and I would recommend putting a little mark with a marker or something on there uh, to get you an idea how much you used it for, at some point you will have to replace it. It won't plug up. It won't ever plug up, basically, because it's only a 5 micron rating. I didn't say 0.5, I said 5 microns. In fact, if you put very muddy water in this, very muddy water, eventually that's, 
it might start plugging up because of all the mud, in which case you take that top sponge off and rinse it off in the water. But it won't plug up. Now you may get, for very muddy water, you may get some of the silt still coming through, but the water will be safe to drink, you see. So it really does a great job for emergency purposes where you would never want to rely on a ceramic type system ever for surface waters. So that about wraps it up for the Aqua Pail. I thank everybody for watching. This is Craig from uh, theprepperstop.com or ForbiddenKnowledge.info. Thanks for watching.